What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games, and today we need to have a chat about EB01, Extra Booster 01, the Memorial Collection, because we've got some new cards that have gone and been revealed, and I like talking about new cards. New cards make me a little bit happy. So let's start off talking about some new cards, shall we? Let's start off with Kozuki Hiyori. And yes, if you're thinking, hang on a second, Wossy. Didn't we literally just get a Hiyori card the other day? And the answer is yes. Yes, we did. We just got one in OP06. It had a fantastic alternate art. And it is actually a very, very cool card indeed. Uh, basically, when you play it, you can add a card from the top or bottom of your life to your hand. And then put a card from your hand to the top of your life. Which, of course, is Redonk. Because it means you're literally like stacking your life at that point. You can choose whatever card you want to put on top of your life. So if you have a card in your hand that you really want to use a trigger on, you can literally just whack it on top of your life. It's honestly kind of ridiculous. It's the first time, as far as I'm aware, this was the first time we'd seen something like that in the One Piece TCG. Although we have actually recently seen another one. But the point is, very cool card. We like it a lot. What do we have here? Well, we have a green Kozuki Hiyori. Although, remember that one of the leaders that we're getting in the set is Kazuki Oden, who, of course, is red-green, so it wouldn't really make sense to get a yellow one here. Four cost, zero power, counter plus 1,000. And look, if it's got no power as a four cost and it's not counter plus 2,000, you should already be expecting a pretty gosh darn good skill. Well, activate main, you may trash this card, place up to one cost five or less Land of Wano type card, other character, than Kozuki Hiyori from your hand into play, and then draw a card. So basically, you play this as a four cost, but then trash it to get a five cost and draw a card. So it's a little bit circuitous, it's a little bit awkward, but basically what you're doing here is using this as a way to draw a card while saving one to play something. Which is a little bit awkward, I admit, but we can actually go a little bit further. So for instance, let's not forget that we had the Kinemon leader as an example in OP02. When you have one or fewer characters in play, reduce the play cost of the next three cost or higher Wano Country character you play from your hand by one during this turn. So you can essentially use Kinemon to play this as a free cost, but then trash it to play a five cost. And oh yeah, all of a sudden that's sounding pretty good. And I know I'm not the only one to think about this. Many of you watching probably have already, but obviously we're going straight for Yamato here. The green secret rare Yamato that's got double attack and banish that you're now essentially playing as a free cost. Or even if you don't want to play it with Kinemon, if you want to play it with a new Kazuki Odin, that's fine. You're playing it as a four cost and you're drawing a card at the same point. Yes, it is a little bit awkward, okay? Having to play this card to essentially help you play another card later. Yes, I know that's not the easiest and simplest thing in the world. But you're getting a lot of benefit from it. You're essentially saving another cost on playing a card. Bearing in mind you can already save one with Kinemon if that's where you're going. And you get extra card draw as well. Yeah, I can see this ladies and gentlemen. I can absolutely see it. But we have got some others as well including a super rare coming around. We've got a super rare Inazuma. Now we've got a blue Inazuma here. And yes, it's kind of awkward to tell on these, but I, I feel pretty confident about this. Shout out to Orin Samurai D and then Ray and Hira Shishu for essentially confirming I had the translations correct here. They are very nice. And what we've got here is six cost, 7,000 power. And at the end of your turn, if you have two or fewer cards in hand, draw two. I adore this. I absolutely adore this. Sure, it's a six cost, which is quite expensive, but refilling your hand every turn. I know you're only drawing two, right? But if you can empty out your hand entirely, get two of these on the field, end of your turn, draw two, you've got two cards in hand, and then the other one activates, and you're like, oh, I've still got two or fewer cards in hand. Now I get to draw two more cards. So you're drawing four in total. That's kind of nuts. But regardless... 
Even if you've got one of these out and you're drawing two extra cards, that's really good. We don't see a huge amount of draw in One Piece. Don't get me wrong, there is draw in One Piece. But if you compare it to something like Pokemon, for instance, which, as it turns out, is a card game with a huge amount of draw, there is a big difference. Being able to go down to very few cards in hand and then draw two, yeah. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, bearing in mind, when OPO2 was the current meta, Emporio Ivankov, the leader, saw a bunch of play. And that was, if you have zero cards in hand, draw two. Well, here you can have one card in hand and draw two, and it's not even your leader. And yes, sure, it's a six-cost character, and that's quite expensive. I get it. But this strikes me as very, very, very good. Uh, as a side note, this is Impel Down and Revolutionary. So, basically, what we're looking at here is Hannibal, which is your Impel Down leader, which is kind of awesome. Uh, at the end of your turn, you can return one of your cost two or greater impel down characters to your hand to set up to one Don card from your Don deck as active. Which admittedly, it, it doesn't exactly combo perfectly with this new Inazuma. But, you know, still an impel down card. You've still got that. And honestly here, I just absolutely adore the fact that we're drawing extra cards at the end of our turn. That sounds pretty good. But it's not all that we've seen. We've also seen Mr. Two, Bon Clay Bentham, who is Baroque Works, or should I say former Baroque Works. And we've got four cost, 1,000 power, counter plus 1,000. Again, very clearly a super rare here. Remember, there are a bunch of super rares despite it being a smaller set. And on play, add a Don from your Don deck active. So it's a four cost, but you get a Don back. But it's not really a free cost it's better than a free cost oh i should say this is purple which you probably could have guessed by the extra don that's very much a, a purple thing to do but you essentially pay for and immediately get one back but it's better than just having a free cost because that don is then available to use the next turn and the next turn and the next turn so sure you pay for and you immediately have one to use so it's in essence a free cost although you've got to have four don to actually play it but you only end up with three Don less after playing it. However, once that Don is played, it is available to be used every subsequent turn, which makes it so much better than just getting, you know, if this was four costs, but then when you play it, you set a Don as active. So it's a free cost, but you've got to have four out to play it. That would be fine. Playing a Don is so much better. Love that. But then we've got more. When attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's characters. This character has the same base power as the chosen character for this turn. Love it. Because, of course, one thing you can do here is just kind of whack a Don on and then choose one of your opponent's characters and attack them and you're always going to be 1,000 power more than them because you've got the same base power, but you've just whacked a Don on. And then it goes down to countering and all of that, I understand. But, yeah, this is kind of brilliant honestly and i love this and this is awesome and just as a side note here i love the whole copying power thing we've seen that before from mr two back in op04 on opponent's attack don minus one this character's base power becomes the same power as the power of your opponent's attacking leader or character during this turn but again it's one of those things where if you've read the manga or watched the anime this will make perfect sense you will understand why you're copying base power and I kind of love that there are a few characters in One Piece where the card designers are really going out of their way to make the character play in the card game basically like they are in the manga. And I really appreciate when they do that. And this is another example of that happening. And I frankly think that is lovely and wonderful. So yay! As a card though, yeah, this is great. I really like this card. The idea that you play it and you get an extra Dawn in a purple deck, that's always really nice. And then you can basically attack, but then match power with somebody, but you've put Dawn on so you're more powerful. Like This is just generally brilliant, and I love it, and I'm a huge fan. So there we go. We have three new cards from EB01. Two of them are super rares, and then Kazuki Hyori isn't fine. Doesn't mean it's not a good card. This is shaping up to be an interesting set. We know it is a smaller set than normal. That is not news. We, we've known that for a while. 
but we're told it's going to be boosting old decks. And frankly, the cards we're seeing from it are already showing us, hey, you know what? This is actually pretty cool, and I am all in favor of this. Right, that's what you need to know, ladies and gentlemen, and now it's down to you guys. Tell me what you think about these new cards. Tell me what you think about EB01 in general. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about One Piece and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.